What do you do? It's your boy, Pod, aka Pod G, by reacting to by Lemon Balls. The street is coming out then. Dana and RG thought, 32. Man. If you enjoyed the video, I greatly appreciate if you like, subscribe to the channel. If, everything be in um, the description below. Let's hop into it. How you gonna meet the same girl if you're traveling your whole career of playing a sport? Now, the thing is, you're making all this money and you're young. So people Googling you and coming up to you. So how you gonna meet them? You gonna meet them at a restaurant where you gotta get something to eat. You gonna meet them at the goddamn uh, stadium after try to hang around. So you gonna meet them at the club. At your, or you gotta go to your hotel and you gonna meet them there. So guess what they're gonna be? Let's say you go through some things and you meet this pretty girl and she's 30 years old. Why is she this fine and by herself? Speaking facts. So LaMelo Ball is obviously on the path to superstardom faster than anybody in the NBA not named Luka Doncic. He broke out last year in an effort that I felt exceeded expectations coming into the league and out of the three Ball brothers he is- I know this all talk it. it's crazy people thought Zion was going to go to the over LaMelo, it's crazy. That's all talk but I just have to say that. Clearly the most equipped to be the face of a franchise in the years to come. And that's not to take anything away from Lonzo, who has been grinding for a couple of seasons to fix his jump shot and become a 3 and D guy, which is pretty much like having gold in the current state of the NBA. To be honest with you, LaMelo is just a different beast, and it's his mentality and his personality that I believe is what really affords him this luxury. And the other fact here is He's that all three boys wouldn't be where they are today without their father, LeVar. For years, Facts. I watched this man get clowned online. People said his sons were trash, that he was a bad father. They made fun of his BBB brand and said that he was nothing more than a nuisance and a problem for NBA teams who were involved with his sons. And I could see how that take could fly a couple years back when Lonzo was underperforming largely because of the target LeVar had put on his back, saying that he was going to be better than Steph Curry as a rookie, and constantly criticizing the Lakers organization and their coaching methods. It also True. didn't help that Jello had just gotten in trouble for stealing in China, he was later unenrolled from UCLA, and LaMelo decided to stop going to school altogether to pursue pro ball overseas. At that time, the BBB vision was looking bleak, but in the current day, that couldn't be any more false. This is a man who coached his sons into the second and third picks in their respective NBA drafts, one of which who took the league by storm, it's and crazy. the other who finally just signed a major contract. And now with his great summer league performance, it looks like all three sons could be in the NBA one day very soon. So we have to give credit where credit is due and admit that LeVar is right a lot of the time. And I think in the case with the advice that he has for his sons that I played at the beginning of the video, he was once again spot on. These boys have been famous since their days running around at Chino Hills High School. People have known their names for at least the last four to five years. And with all of that attention, of course, can come a lot of negativity and people looking to enter your life in order to gain off of your achievements. We saw what recently happened with LaMelo's teammate PJ Washington, who was literally preyed on by professional hoe Brittany Renner during his time at Kentucky University. And once the 29-year-old had his baby and secured the baby bag, she said, adios, PJ. Hey, it's funny, he's paying child support for no reason. Like, what? Hey, I'm going on some sort of college tour. Why is she here? Fuck it, yo, know, she gets me mad, bro. She gets me mad. Four. And now the very same thing could happen to LaMelo Ball if he is not careful. Because the 19-year-old has been spotted with 32-year-old Instagram model Anna Montana for the last five months, but only recently has their relationship been confirmed. This is coming right after he was dating notorious porn star Tiana Trump, who I felt like was really on the verge of fucking up this man's future. And when this news came out about him and this Anna Montana, people were obviously all thinking out loud saying that she was trying to take our boy for a joyride and get that PJ Washington on the rocks. Obviously, the public questioned what on earth could a 19-year-old and a 32-year-old have in common besides money. 
The dude's brain isn't even fully developed yet. But still she claps back saying, Y'all do know I have my own money and take care of myself and family, right? Which is comical to say the least when you have a 19 year old kid flying you around the country, putting 20, you in hotels, and funding your lifestyle. The OnlyFans bag pales in comparison to NBA money. And honestly, that OnlyFans bag is about to dry up starting next month. And look, I'm not saying LaMelo shouldn't be having his fun. He's a young guy living a fast life. He just needs to be careful with any sort of relationship he gets involved in from here on out. That's a because fact. a lot of people out yeah, there are going to have right. their hands out wanting to take things from this man that he earned based on his own hard work. I hate to say it, but it should probably be really hard for him to trust damn near anybody at this point. I mean, the guy's like own brother was trapped with a baby very early on in his career. And while it may have been with his high school girlfriends, they were clearly on the rocks when it happened. And she must have seen that bag slipping away before her eyes. And with this woman, Anna Montana, reaching her peak age where her looks are not going to be doing it for her anymore, the same looks that she lived her whole life off of, Lamelo needs to be extra cautious. Because I have a feeling grandma is looking to cash out and call it a day. And this kid is looking like a big old fat cash cow. I'm telling you guys, this type of relationship can derail your whole career. Yeah. Why do you think LeBron has been with the same woman since high school? Never had any sort of off-court drama. Just kept his head down and worked hard. Okay, I'm sure he's been with Rihanna a couple of times. Those are the type of luxuries you're probably afforded when you are the GOAT. It's the same thing with Kendrick Lamar, with J. Cole. All these guys married women that they knew before they were famous. Unfortunately, LaMelo Ball would not have that luxury, True. like his father said. So let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Let's all pray for our guy LaMelo Ball yes, that he's going to be okay and not get trapped. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video and subscribing. Make sure That's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments section below. LaMelo Ball, you so happy to be here watching. There'll be a next one. If you enjoyed the video, hit a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Catch y'all later. Peace.